Winning manager uh, Tommy McDonald. Uh, Tommy, uh, describe that now. Knocking on a back-to-back Leinster title winners. Oh, look, it's a fabulous uh, day for the club. Uh, brilliant to get back to back. Uh, look, it was a very tight game. Uh, we did seem to have the better forwards, uh, but and uh, the two goals at the end did give us a bit of a scare. But look, uh, to, to be able to come up the field and, and stick things together and put it in the back of the net, look, it's brilliant to win for the club. Tell us though, the people are probably around the province wondering what's going on in Nakanana and Wicklow that uh, things are you know, going so well on a Camogie front free in the last number of years. Yeah, look, look at the time we have a wonderful bunch of girls together. We have experienced players, it's just as it was said there in the in the presentations. We have some great young players and look, at they all gel together. But look, at there's a lot of hard work in the club. This is coming over a good many years. You know, and it's just great to be able to keep it going. And we're looking forward now to going on in the uh, All Ireland series. Tommy, I you didn't get it easy in Wicklow though this year. You, you had to fight all the way, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Look, look. The last few years, like everybody expects, knocking on it to win. But like some of those games that we had, uh, you know, the other clubs really, really fought really hard. We had some great games. And look at that kind of competition stands to us now. Uh, when we're out here in, in the Leinster campaign. Especially when it was getting a bit ropey, you're in injury time and all of a sudden the concession of a penalty and then a goal. So I'm w just wondering, did some of that uh, pressure you were under in Wicklow stand to you a bit? Oh no, absolutely it would, absolutely it would. Look at the girls drop back there and uh, you know everybody fights right at the end, only a few minutes to go. And look, at they have the skill, they're able to break out there, as I said earlier, and get that goal at the end just to put a bit of a gap in some breathing space look at it it's everybody fights here tooth and nail for everything we don't take anything for granted you know it's all about hard work well, Tommy it was a very polished performance I, I just felt at half time you were probably far better than the three points you were ahead and then you got a second goal early doors you know you were kind of in cruise control that probably was probably a factor why the goals were conceded probably at the end yeah look look it's when little things are not going your way you know there was some brilliant play by the girls there that you would love to see a point or a score from and it just with a little drop pass or some something not sticking, look at that happens, it gives the other team a bit of oxygen then, so but look, you have to keep going, you know, the girls keep going and, uh, you know, to get through in a final is just, that's what it's all about, whether it's one point or ten, it doesn't matter. I mean, I know you don't want to pick out an individual players or whatever, we have a serious spine and they all did it for you today, the long ball's on, your burn cut out, Shanna Gutlin controlling things around her area, um, Amy Marr, fabulous second half, and then you have an inside forward line that would cause havoc anywhere they go. Yeah, yeah, look at, look at, we don't want to single out any players, it's a full team performance, even down into our subs, our panel, everybody, like we won the, the junior championship as well as the senior in there, some of those girls, junior girls are coming into this team here now, and look at really driving on, it's, it's, it's all across the team, you know, they, there, there are some brilliant performances and work rate in all those players in every position across the field and look at the work that uh, I really want to say that Johnny has done, Johnny Wyburn, to the, the co-manager and, and coach, like it's just great work in training and look at they're getting better. My last question to you is now obviously you know you have a little bit of hurt of losing an All-Ireland final uh, already uh, you know in, in last season but uh, you know would you like to be getting back there? I know you're probably not going to be looking too far ahead but you probably feel you've unfinished business in some way. Yeah look look absolutely look at we know the girls have targets for the year, but like you, when you start in the first round of the championship, that's your target. It's one game at a time. We're on that journey, and look at our next game now is against, I think it could be Tara from the UK. I try not to even look mm. that far ahead yeah. until we get over this hurdle. So look, at, of course, who wouldn't want to, to win an All-Ireland, but there's a long way to go uh, before that can happen, and a lot of training and, and work still to be done. Thank you. Thanks. Nice piece.